Nathan Cox, thanks for joining us around the home. Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about storage for your kayaks, okay? Because these things are a lot of fun. They're a great form of exercise, getting outdoors, reconnecting, but they're huge. They take up a lot of space and you gotta find some way to store them. And I'm just leaving them on here where I'm supposed to be, this is where I'm supposed to be grilling. So I stand to grill, so this, that's not gonna work. Gotta do something better. So I've got these kayak hooks here. Order these on Amazon. We will have Amazon links in the description down below and we are Amazon affiliates. So use those links to help support the channel. Um, so please click away, click, click, click. And before I go too much further, you might notice we do have chapters on the timeline here. So you can help break this apart, go back, review the video, skip ahead, whatever you choose. Now this one here is from a company called Rad Sports, okay? And I liked it for a couple of reasons. All the reviews were very, very good. So it was very, very sturdy and it is. I mean, I'm not flexing this at all. Uh, it doesn't want to bend. It's supposed to hold like, uh, they, come in, they come in pairs and it's supposed to hold like 150 pounds. Um, I think my kayak is probably 40 pounds, uh, maybe not even that. So these will more than do it. They got this nice padding on them already built on and the strap, because I am going to be hanging these on my fence in my backyard because there's just no more room in my garage, okay? Um, that way, so when the wind comes and the storms, you know, the straps are going to keep them on there so I don't come in and see they've been blown, knocked off and, you know, hit the ground and stuff like that. All right, now I am going to make one modification to this. All right, because there's one thing that I wasn't happy with about this, but none of them have it. So it's not like this one was the exception. I'm going to put a drain hole right here. I'm right, thinking, what, what drain hole? All right, now if you're putting this inside your garage, totally not necessary. But if you're hanging it outside, I see some people had pictures of these like on the side of their house or other places like that. And I like, obviously put on my fence. See, we got side mounting holes and then front and back mounting holes, okay? So some of these holes are definitely not gonna have any screw in them whatsoever. And they will absolutely take the rain in. And even the screw holes uh, with enough hard rain uh, and, and then the joint here where this little bolt is for the strap is gonna take some water in. And if that water just comes in here, it's gonna sit here and pool and it'll rust it from the inside out. Okay, uh, so a drain hole for outside storage like this, I think is, is key. I think it's a huge key, all right? Okay, so let's talk hardware, okay? So this little bag of hardware is what comes with it. All right, so you've got six of these wood screws, Phillips head on top. Uh, they're just under three, three inches long, so not terrible, um, but with this uh, beveled base there, I don't think it's the best for those holes, okay, first of all. Uh, second of all, because I'm putting it on my fence, um, I'm going to put one, one of the hangers like right in front of a post. So I want it to go through the, the picket, through the 2x4 behind it, and then into, into the post. So I'm not slowly pulling that section down from the weight of the kayak, right? Uh, this also comes, um, and, and I hate these little anchors because they're so cheap. Uh, and I'm not sure where you'd be, I guess drywall, if you're heading it in the garage, again, um, you know, I've, I've got videos with, with, with better, um, better anchors, and actually I'll put a link in the description down below for my toggler anchors. So much better for holding weight, especially if you're, you know, moving stuff, because every time you take the kayak on and off the hooks, it's going to kind of, you know, work them. So much better anchors than that. Um, anyways. Let me show you the hardware I'm upgrading to. All right, now these bolts here, I don't think I'm able to find an Amazon link for, but you can get them at Lowe's or Menards and stuff like that. They've got a Torx Star you know, drive here, a Torx 30. All right, nice big flat head. Okay, so it'll sit right tight up against uh, the bracket and it's got crazy aggressive screws, uh, threads, and then even a little cutter, you can see that notch on the end. And they're very pointy, okay? It's a five inch screw. So this will be the one that goes all the way through the post. And then I've got shorter three inches for, for some of the other holes. You know, they're gonna go into the, just into the two by four, okay? Um, but that way we've got just an upgrade on hardware. I find that that's necessary so much of the time these days. All right, the tools you're gonna need, all right? So you're gonna need a drill pretty much for anything. Whether you've been hanging it in the garage, you're still gonna want to uh, pre-drill into the studs. You wanna drill into the sheetrock for your anchors. All right, now this, um, my, my fence is wet. It just rained like like torrential for like the last few days. Um, so I'm not worried about pre-drilling so much, especially with those aggressive uh, screws I've got. But I do have a 5 16 bit in here, which I'll be using uh, to make the drain hole. You know, a tape measure and a pencil or a marker to mark where you're doing it. I have an impact to set the screws. 
you know, you could use a drill. Uh, you don't have to have the impact, but I, I like having, you know, it's nice having both. And you can use a level if you want, um, but you know, if you're inside a garage or something like that, you can just measure from the floor up or from the ceiling down. And actually, a lot of times the floor slopes a little bit in the garage, help, you know, with drainage. So you're probably better off measuring from the ceiling down to make it level. Of course, you can use a level if you want. Out here, I'm just gonna follow the nail holes across for that two by four stringer board, and that's what I'm gonna be working off of, so I'm not gonna worry about that it's off by a little bit whatever right and then because i'm making drain hole i got a utility knife and a little you know lighter stick um that way i can i can make a little incision in the um in the padding there and um, and then drill through and then i'll burn burn it away so it kind of uh seals the nylon mesh uh, bag there so it doesn't fray apart okay okay so let's make our modification sometimes i, I hate doing this to something that's brand new right but we're doing this for its own good. So right here, I'm trying to find like the bottom most part right there in the bend. I'm gonna try to do it right there in the middle best I can. All right. So I'm pretty much just going to cut an X. That way the drill bit can go in without just tearing the crap out of everything. And I think that X should work pretty good. All right, we just wanna go through the first layer of the tubing there. We're not going all the way through. There. Normally the faster speed is better. There we go. Through the first layer. Okay, now let's go ahead and burn this so that this doesn't end up fraying over time. Okay, not super pretty, but it'll work. Okay, this next part should be fairly straightforward. Okay, pick your place where you're gonna stick it and uh, just run the screws through. Of course, the strap's gonna be in the way a little bit. Now, there's three mounting holes here that go straight through the front and the back. And I'm gonna go ahead for height-wise, and I'm gonna skip and not, not use that top one at all and just, um, set it here using that one that's just the second top one because it's not really in the middle now i've measured my kayak uh for what i think is the best place for the hooks on it given its shape and stuff and my kayaks are nine and a half foot kayaks you know, pretty close to 10. So I'm thinking five foot spread um, is gonna land on them pretty good, like five or just a hair over. So let's measure. Okay, let's open these straps up and Set the kayak in place, see how it does. Okay, now I know someone did mention in the comments that wish the top strap was a little bit longer. I understand what they're talking about. That would be nice if that could come down to like here instead of stopping right here. Um, especially if you've mounted the kayak, say, um, above your head. But all in all, that looks very solid. Okay, and the wind's not gonna blow that anywhere. No, no. Okay, pretty happy with that. Well, thanks again for joining us. I hope this helps you guys find a good solution for your kayak storage, because kayaks are fun, but they are just terrible to store because they're just so big. Um, I think this is gonna work really, really well for me. Um, and I hope that this solution helps you guys out as well. Please take a moment, subscribe to our channel, 
Check out our website with hundreds of more videos organized really, really well. And there's another video for you guys to enjoy. Thanks again.